Okay. We have um, a part two because uh, part one has background music and I'm not sure if that will come to the YouTube chat. I'm doing that a lot and I've always gotten away with it. Um, so yay, this is part two. Um, what I got? Um, That's the Zygo mix or Symbidium mix. And yeah, I should have gotten an extra one. Um, well, too bad. This is just bark with a bit of moss. And the reason I buy this stuff is that it's pre soaked. Yeah. Uh, when I use this to repot, um, I only have to give it a little flood of water and it soaks up a lot. It also has the drawback that it's, uh, it's not as long lasting as Orpiata. Um, I have some 50 centimeter pots. Yeah, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And some 17 centimeter. The 17 is for the Pescatoria, although, well, bah, I'll find a use for them. These can go in the cupboard. Um, yay, I, um, yeah, I'm gonna tell you the total in a moment. I went a bit over budget. Uh, this stuff is 7 euros for 3 bags. And it looks like much, but I can get, um, well, 2, yeah, 2 repots in 1 bag. So it's not that much. I'm going to show you something I got yesterday when I went to the supermarket. Yay! Two Phalaenopsis types, really, really pretty white flowers. They're all white with a little bit of green. Well, it doesn't show that much. And this one has a lot of green. Yeah! And the lip is really, really dark, dark purple. Yeah, pretty. So, yay. Um, my camera is a little bit off lately. I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm gonna get the rest and show you what I got in a bit more detail. Hold up. Yeah, that's a big box. Scissors, scissor me timbers. Um, okay, we're going to start with a small one. And let me put this on the floor. Oh. Yep. That's better. <coughs> This is the Solotini. And yeah, I think I've had, uh, I've got more luck with this one than with the Mazzy. Because I tried Mazzy's. Yeah, this is absolutely Amazing. It's a small bark with moss. Well, that's something I can give it. I have pots. 
Now, let me get you to the flower. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's really, really super pretty. It's not that big. That's my finger. There are two buds to come. Nice new growth. Yeah, it looks really good. Nice and plump. Okay, on to the next one. And yes, I got the green zygo, so. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, next up. It's a big one. Well, it's one one. Um, a tall one, so. This is one I got. This is the least expensive one. And that's simply because it's not really a magnificent one. In fact, it looks a bit dreadful, but I'm fairly certain I can do something with this. Um, And if I'm correct, this is a Miltonia Spectabile. It's already done flowering. Ooh, it smells like licorice. Yeah, this one, I'm not gonna enjoy this for very much longer. There are some uh, buds still to open, but yeah, this is basically a rescue. I'm going to clean it up and see if it wants to do anything. I bet it does. Uh, yeah, um, I would like to know what species this is. Same as with this one. I think it's a spectacular. Or could it be a Moreliana? Well, um, a Roger has both. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll let you decide. Um, the next one. And this one is absolutely fantastic. And that's this one. <clears throat> it's really, really strange. I've never seen one. And it doesn't say anything. Yeah, Colmenara, but this is not Colmenara. It is variegated. That's my second variegated orchid. Uh, Two, three, four, four new growth. So, uh, let me get you a little bit up close. Uh, oh, this is really annoying. There it is. That's really pretty. But again, uh, it doesn't look like a run of the mill oncidium. It has really long bulbs, really, really narrow, and it is variegated. So, if someone knows,
We have more. Yes, we have more. Of course we have more. Always more. I need a bigger table. I already forgot what I got. No idea what's this. Oh yeah, this is also a, uh, well, Miltonia something, it says Cambria and Colmenara, yeah, and both of them are wrong. Yeah, that's pretty. Nice and pretty here. This one has flowered. <clears throat> well, new growth will appear. And faster than you think. So if you know what it is, uh, <clears throat> please leave a time uh, stamp in the comments. That makes it a lot easier. Uh, yeah, this is all stuff they buy from other nurseries. As you saw with the, the Bobophyllum Louis Sauger. Again a Miltoniopsis. And it it says and other. Okay, this is an and other. Um four spikes. And it looks really, really healthy. Nice and plump. Let me get you a bit closer up. Yeah, it's a deep purple color. Really pretty. But yay, this is pretty much all cool growing stuff. What did I do? What did I do? Uh, well, at least I have uh, expanded my obsidian collection. Yeah. It's now well over 50. And the last one, the one I didn't want to buy, but did. And I didn't even look at the, at the price tag. This one was 20 euros. And I don't think it's a uh, a true psychopathalum. Oh, let me. It's a very faint green with red in the lip and blue around the column. Yeah, and this was the only one they had. Oh. Yeah, it looks good. Well, we'll see what they will do in the future. But, mm, yes, <sighs> new orchids. A splash of color. <laughs> oh God. Um, the, the wow. Yeah, I went a bit over budget. Uh, I needed pots 
embark that I have. And then I went about 80 euros over budget. <laughs> uh, yeah, a grand total of 100 euros. And screw it. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten it if I couldn't have, uh, couldn't afford it, so... No worries, I won't be eating peanut butter sandwiches for the rest of the month. I'm really, really glad I got that Sologini. It's absolutely... Yeah, it's super pretty. Not just the flower, the plant as well. And this one is going to be, uh, I think I'm going to make this a project plant, yeah. Get some consistency in the channel. <laughs> okay guys, um, 60 minutes of unpacking and showing off. Uh, I'm gonna stop now. Anything else? No, the rest is uh, boring and old and you've all seen it, so... This is it. Later.